Ah, Black Friday once again. Nothing to do but sit around the house and watch Christmas specials. And it looks like Badass Matt's procured a little something for us. The RoboCop Christmas Special. There were some movies. Terrible movies. Movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew. Sad little Matthew. Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Today's episode, the RoboCop Christmas Special. <sighs> Merry Black Friday, Internet. I'm called Matt. And for those of you just joining me, I happen to have a little Black Friday tradition. I sleep till noon and then I watch Christmas specials. So while you're watching this video, I'm on a couch somewhere watching Gremlins. But, I got something a little crazier than that for you today. RoboCop Alpha Commando was a Saturday morning cartoon show that ran, I think, on Kids WB? I say that because this logo almost looks like a WB logo. Yeah, this show hasn't seen any home video release, so to actually watch an episode of it, you have to settle for these nigh on unwatchable 240p YouTube videos that look like they were probably ripped from a VHS recording. Can someone please release a high-definition version of this show? Thanks. It seems to have been made for syndication, so Kids WB is probably just one of the places it ran. Anyways, the show ran one season of 40 episodes, and like Rambo Forces of Freedom, one of those episodes was a Christmas episode. Episode 18, O oh Tannenbaum, O oh Tannenbaum, which was directed by Larry Houston, who wrote 17 episodes of the show, and I guess all 32 writers just get credit for every episode. I have my doubts it took 32 people to write a 22 minute episode of a children's show. Robocop is voiced by David Sobolov, who voices Gorilla Grodd on the Flash TV show. And thanks, IMDb. I didn't want to know who these guys voiced anyway. The cast does include plenty of common names for a late 90s B-list cartoon, including Scott McNeil, who voiced Conan the Adventurer. And this has to be in my top 10 favorite theme songs. Robocop. That almost even beats you, Godzilla. So in all its 240p glory, here is the RoboCop Christmas special. The episode opens on the last thing I expected out of a RoboCop TV show. Meet me at the Mega Mall! Distemper perfume. It will bring out the animal in her. <laughs> Social commentary on par with that of the original film? Seriously, this opening is kind of funny. Try shopping early for a change! Just like you did this year? Of course, you're probably wondering who this is, which is something that happens a lot in this episode. To be fair, that's probably a symptom of starting with episode 18, not episode 1, but I've seen Robocop and, um... Robocop is the only character from that movie in this show. It makes me wonder if maybe this show wasn't originally written as a generic future cop show, and then they got the rights to Robocop and said, hey, we'll make it a Robocop show. Anyways, seems there are fights going on in the mall over Giggles the Elf. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not a toy moms are rushing out to buy. That's one of those toys if your kid asks for it, you go, yeah, we'll see, and then never actually consider buying it. And the mall seems to be having a hard time as customers are reporting that they've been robbed. And, uh, 
Did that woman just pick up a six-foot cyborg man and throw him? You know, I think there's an entirely separate case here that doesn't involve the robberies. Ah, crap. The quality got even worse. Uh Uh-oh. That was RoboCop's point of view. Seemed to recall him having better eyesight in the movie, but, you know, whatever. Cracked rib, dislocated kneecap, and some severely bruised dignity. Happy holidays, Sergeant. Here's my bill. Funny. Yeah, that really needed the comedic sting and someone saying funny for me to get the joke. All the Chief's men are working crowd control, so it's up to Robocop and girl character to go undercover. I'm game, but how's Murphy supposed to blend in? Leave that to me. Yeah, alright. The thief takes the bait, and we reveal... The elf toys are behind the robbery. I never trusted the fuckers. Oh, nasty little gnome. Here, I've got a doll to catch. Wiper blades. <laughs> he has wiper blades. Oh no, if only I had some form of gun or other weapon, but I guess I can only use it for shooting rapists in the dick. But a crowd of people catches him beating up toys and gets mad at him. I... I... I cannot even express what is wrong with this scene. So they take the elf's head to the lab for analysis. Data bro. Ah! Uh-huh. Oh, come on, it's not even the middle finger anymore. Also, apparently someone was tampering with the security footage. Sections of clean video have been inserted to replace wherever a theft took place. Okay, we're making a RoboCop show for Kids WB, but you could try a little better to make sense. What is that? (sighs) Who who cares? I never get presents! And that was the day Scooter brought a live bomb into the police precinct. Nail me! Ah! Carlotta! Carlotta? Okay, this is 100% because I started with episode 18 and not watched the show from the beginning, but I actually don't know anything about the villain in this episode. From what I gather, she's some crazy scientist who the new Detroit police put away earlier in the series, but she broke out and her first plan was to invent a popular toy that steals people's money. Also, she has a crush on Scooter. Shouldn't you be in prison? No, you big silly! I got an early release for good behavior! Want a demonstration? Did this children's show just suggest she fucked someone to get parole? So, uh, I guess prison wasn't all that bad? Well, if you don't mind the inedible food, the tedious work, and the gray clothes, I hate gray! No, it was fine. Really. Yeah, you know what they say, three hots and a cot. What can you tell us about the company that made those elf dolls? Well, uh, not much. Um, they're the same outfit who installed my security system. And didn't that strike you as just a teensy bit peculiar? You know what strikes me as a teensy bit peculiar? The fact that some elf this crazy lady made up is apparently the hottest toy of the season. Like, I was a kid around this time, and we didn't give a fuck about toys unless they were based on licensed characters. Mom bought you some elf, that shit was going to the bottom of the toy box. And this is not a problem exclusive to this show. It's odd to me that Toy Story and Toy Story alone understood this phenomenon and made their own licensed character that was super popular in that universe. Anyway, a robot Rudolph tries attacking them. You know, Carlotta, I think you're spending more money on this scheme than you're making off of it. Back to my new job, RoboCop, Public Destroyer of Christmas. RoboCop, Public Destroyer of Christmas. Bet you never thought you'd hear that line. Wait, Charlotta, maybe we should think about this. No, Numi, don't think. Feel. Yes, let your senses (laughs) reel. Okay, there's way too much sexual tension between you two. I'm gonna skip to the part where you figured it out. Why couldn't that idiot creation of yours be here like the delivery man said he was? Oh, hey, look, I was right about the bomb. That that was a joke. And look, she can control multiple elves doing different things with one joystick. Again, not a problem exclusive to this, but it still bothers me every time I see it. 
Then they have to trick her into revealing her evil plan. Start recording. Already on it. Charlotta Tannenbaum, confession, take one. Wait, is her last name actually Tannenbaum? Was that always her name, or did they just never say her last name and decide to make it Tannenbaum for this episode? Anyway, she's pissed off because her name is Tannenbaum and people make fun of her on Christmas. <laughs> Actually, it was really pretty easy. See, first I used the prison's computers to contact a bunch of online merchants. But I thought online shopping had finally died off. Oh look, he does have a gun. This sure is the first convenient time to use that. Was that an actual living snowman? Or did he melt the robot parts? Exploding deer villains? I'm glad my son's not here to see this. Yeah, all I have this episode is dumb reaction shots. And so the nerdy scientist carrying her crush over her shoulders outran the future cyborg cops. Cold, cold, very, very cold. Charlotta? Okay, he could probably pick it up from context clues, but I choose to believe he recognized her just from her ass. Listen! I know what it's like to be an outcast! Rejected! Scorned! You... you do? Sure! I had no idea other people were outcasts. So... How about letting me go? Um... um... no. And she also built the advertisement robots? This is starting to push my suspension of disbelief. And then Robocop fights a knife-handed mech robot on Santa's sleigh. If that's not the most rad shit you've ever seen, get the fuck out of my face. Oh, and they crash into the mall and explode. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And Carlotta and Scooter managed to survive that. Honestly, I'd question whether or not the robots could survive that, but you know. But Carlotta, and yes, I know his name isn't really Scooter, shut up, are in love. Scooter, much like Robocop, I have a set of rules I live by. And one of them was imparted to me by a good friend the night he died. As I held him in his arms, he whispered to me, Matt, don't stick your dick in crazy. It's the last thing he ever said to me. Were you drunk when this happened? Am I drunk now? Depends, what's in the mug? Eggnog and vodka. Mostly vodka. That's what I thought. That's the end of the episode, but this recording has the commercial bumpers before the end credits, and I love that the lead-in is Robocop punching you. And that's the Robocop Christmas special. This is exactly what I remember from Kids WB. Decent humor, decent animation, if I could see it, but kinda dumb and obvious. Some of my problems did stem from picking up in the middle of the series, but plenty of things seem off even with context. Really though, this is kind of an insane thing to watch, especially when you realize it's a RoboCop Christmas special. Sure, RoboCop barely plays a part in the episode, but it's still good for a laugh or two. Though, if you're just looking for the R-rated action hero celebrating Christmas, the Rambo Christmas special was much better at that. Just don't watch my review of it, it's terrible. Anyway, if you're into watching low, low-quality YouTube videos and want a really odd Christmas episode of a late 90s cartoon, this one's for you. Your move, creep. That's it. That's, that's the line you're gonna end on.
Whoever built this is a genius. Whoever built this is a nut bar. Whoever built this almost got me killed. Seriously, not even something like about the episode. Sorry, what do you want? Uh, they should release this on DVD. I'd buy that for a dollar. Good enough. <laughs>